2 Kings 4, 1-7 The wife of a man from the company of the prophets cried out to Elisha, Your servant my husband is dead, and you know that he revered the Lord. But now his creditor is coming to take my two boys as his slaves. Elisha replied to her, How can I help you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? Your servant is nothing there at all, she said, except a small jar of olive oil. Elisha said, go around and ask all your neighbours for empty jars. Don't just ask for a few. Then go inside and shut the door behind you and your sons. Pour oil into all the jars and as each is filled, put it to one side. She left him and shut the door behind her and her sons. They brought the jars to her and she kept pouring. When all the jars were full, she said to her son, bring me another one. But he replied, there is not a jar left. Then the oil stopped flowing. She went and told the man of God, and he said, go and sell the oil and pay your debts. You and your sons can live on what is left. While there are a number of things that can be taken positively from this story, my focus happens to be on being advised to close the door and get on with it really. <laughs> close the door behind you and your family and keep the noise out and focus on what you need to do. Another significant point is the widow actually went to a prophet she asked for help how she says she has nothing at all except a small jar of olive oil so though you might have very little or next to nothing God can still use that for a miracle for you and there is still hope in what we can't see and because the widow followed what Elisha said with faith, word for word, she received her miracle for her and her family and that her sons were not taken as slaves and she paid off her debts. And it takes step of faith and you know obeying. And my last point is probably Elisha saying, or specifically saying, don't just ask for a few. This oil that she had left in her jar, she's pouring and pouring into all these empty jars, which is obviously the miracle. Um, and until she, there was not a jar left, and the oil stopped flowing. And she had enough to continue to live, not just pay off debts, but to continue to live on what is left. Let me know your thoughts.